Hi, I'm Andrew Berry and welcome to At The Bench and welcome to another product review. Well, the product we're going to be looking at in this short film is going to be a torch. Now, many of you have seen me use this small little handheld butane torch. There you go. A bit low on gas. Uh, that is a quite a reasonable, I think it costs roughly about, about £20, £22, £23. And it is ideal for all your small little jewellery making uh, projects. But um, I have struggled with using it, especially on some of the larger jobs, like the bangles we've been making up, like the anti-plastic bangles, and also for annealing large items as well. There just is not enough gas coming out, there's just not enough power in that torch that enables me that will enable me to anneal or to solder big items. So bring on this little beast. This is a larger version of one of those. Again, it's a handheld butane torch. Similar to the small little handheld one there in the sense of it has a base that comes on and off. And in that base there, you have the hole right on the bottom that you light it, light it, sorry, you fill it using the butane gas lighter fuel. And that simply just goes straight into the hole like that there. Like that, in fact, this is already full. I've just filled it up. Um, so you fill it and basically it fills up the chamber that you hold. It has the optional stand as well that goes upon the bottom. And I would keep that stand on it permanently because it's ideal because when you're working away and you want to put the torch down quickly, you can simply put it down and it stands up rather than you put it down and, it, and it'll do this and it, you know, not quite steady. So always keep the stand on, ideal. Now, as I said, this produces a much larger flame than the small little handheld butane torch. And I'm making uh, some silver wire downstairs in the workshops and I've just rolled it up into a nice tight coil and I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to show you the power that this little torch medium-sized torch has. It's called the GT6000S, um, available from Sutton Tools. I think it's around about 30, 40 pounds. It's uh, virtually twice the price of the small one, but it delivers twice the power. And if you want to sort of take your, your basic jewelry making skills up to the next level and work on larger pieces, thicker pieces, bangles, not just rings and, and pendants, um, and earrings, well then you need something that's a little bit more beefy, something with a little bit more power. And this is where this particular torch comes in handy. It is ideal for the hobbyist and somebody who has a small area who doesn't really want to keep hold of the large butane, sorry, propane tanks that um, you have to have using the sievert torch system. So this is ideal that you can use even on your kitchen table without the fear of buying these large tanks. So I've got my coil of silver wire here that we're just going to anneal. I've got my soldering board here as well. Uh, the coil is just that little bit too big to sit on the soldering block without burning the bench. So I've got a very small thin soldering board I'm just going to put on the back. In fact, I'm just going to overlap it like that. So again, the torch lights in exactly the same way as the, its uh, little, little brother. Uh, you've got the gas control on the end here that you simply turn anti-clockwise. The ignition system is on the right hand side to the knob there. You simply turn that on and push. And that's a little bit louder than the last one, but it does produce a really, really good beefy flame. So I'm just going to anneal this coil of wire and we're making up a necklace we are downstairs. Um, and I should turn the light off above me and around me so we can see what we're doing. But I can't be bothered to reach around, so I'll just show you the capability of this torch. You know, there's not much point trying to solder fine chains or, or, or fine eel wires with this because the flame is just that little bit too big. But for the larger stuff, excellent. And you can use the two torches uh, the small torch for the smaller items, this large torch for the larger items. So I've coiled the wire around and around, which makes annealing easier. And also it enables me to get the right sort of temperature 
throughout the whole wire rather than leaving it in just one long strip. Plus this way the, the heat gets distributed throughout the wire evenly as well. There are no ends sticking out that are going to melt or overheat. So you can see within a matter of a couple of minutes that I have managed to heat this coiler to the correct temperature all around. I'm constantly moving the flame around and around to make sure that we do get a nice even temperature throughout the whole coil that enables me then when I'm winding the wire around that the wire will, will bend evenly throughout its whole length. So you can see, I would not have been able to have done this particular job using the small torch there, but with this torch, the GT6000S, ideal. There we go, done. How easy was that? Put that away and move that towards the back of my bench so I don't get burned. So that's the GT6000S available from Sutton Tools here in the UK and I'm sure from other jewellery suppliers throughout the world. So yes, I would recommend it. It's, uh, it's one that I'm going to be keeping. They lent it to me just to do uh, some product reviews but I've used it a couple of times now and I really am happy with it and it's going to make the ideal little partner to my little handheld butane torch as well. The, 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 the tank here that holds the, the gas is twice the size of the small one, so you may not get as many refills out of a whole can, refill can as you do the small one, but it really does have the capacity. And I'm sure you can anneal uh, a couple of items like that, even without the gas running down or even without the flame becoming smaller and smaller. So it has good long lasting capabilities with that size tank and very stable as well. So again, that's the GT6000S. I'm Andrew Berry for The Bench. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.